Hey there, it's Chris from JugglingSecrets.com and in this video you're going to learn how to juggle for beginners. Okay, so before we get started, you do need to have three actual balls. Um, ideally, the all, all of them are going to be like the same size. Uh, and the reason for that is because you don't want balls that are all different sizes or different weights. Because when you're doing this, you want them to go to the same spot every single time. Like you want the you know, the ball to hit one spot and drop down at the same speed. If you're doing like balloons or something, they're gonna float a little longer than you want. If you're doing like a tennis ball and a basketball or something, like they're, they're harder to catch. So for this particular video, I'm using the Higgins Brothers uh, three ball set. I got this on Amazon for like 24 bucks. I'm gonna link this up in the description down below if you wanna just get these balls. These are the best ones that I've come across. So I do recommend getting a set of these when you're ready for that. What you can do is just, if you have like three tennis balls or three racquetballs or three baseballs or something, you can use them. Uh, just, just so you know that it's not necessarily to get these yet. Uh, these are like professional juggling balls so they are gonna make it significantly easier, easier as you go. But let's get started with this. So first thing you're gonna need to do is grab one ball. And this is like the most boring part of this to be honest with you. And it's just because you're gonna be throwing the ball from one side to the other. It's just from hand to hand. And you'll notice that they're going to spots that are just above eye level here for me. So you want to make sure that you do this. And if you want, you can practice this. Uh, like pause this video if you need to. Uh, you're going to come across a lot of issues like you'll throw it and it'll go out a little bit or it'll come close to you or you'll throw it too low or too high. And what you'll come across and what you'll notice is that there's the certain spots that you're going to want to hit every single time. And when you do this, it's, it's, it makes juggling a lot easier. So I hope these are staying in frame. So you'll notice that it's like just above my eye level every single time. And the reason for this is because when a ball goes to a certain spot, when you drop it, it goes to the exact location, like where your hand is, right? So it's, it's not gonna like go all over and stuff. It's Once it hits a certain spot, it drops down directly into that hand. So that makes it a lot easier. So you're gonna wanna do this until you get comfortable with hitting those spots every single time. And this is gonna be, you know, like I said earlier, it's it's like the most boring part of learning how to juggle is this, this section right here. Because you wanna consistently hit the same spot over and over again, so that way you start to get into rhythm with this. So. Once you get comfortable with that, you're going to grab two balls. And for this exact process, it's going to be identical to the one ball throw. But with two balls, what you'll notice is I'll throw the first ball and the other ball will still be in the hand until it reaches the peak. And when this ball, so let's say I threw it with this hand right here and it hits this spot, that's when I'm going to throw this other ball. And you'll see they do the same exact cross pattern every single time. So you'll see throw, throw throw, 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 throw. And what happens is as soon as the first throw reaches its peak, just like when you're doing one ball, you throw the second one. So peak, throw, peak, throw. Same on the other side, peak, throw. Once this, once the first throw gets to the top of the pattern, you just throw the other one. And a lot of the time people are gonna want to shuffle. They're gonna wanna, you know, hand it from hand to hand. And this is another form of juggling. It's just a different pattern. It's known as the shower pattern. And doing this, you you feel like you're juggling, like you feel like you're, you know, successfully juggling when you're doing two balls when you're doing this. However, when you go to three balls, it's gonna make it a lot harder. And the reason for that is because the shower pattern is faster. Like you'll see how much quicker my hands are moving doing that rather than this. Like it's a, uh, it's more of like a stressful juggling pattern, I guess, is, a, is an appropriate thing to say. I don't know if that's the proper words or whatever, but it goes a lot faster, so it's a lot harder to learn. And ideally, this is for absolute beginners, so I want you to do the easiest thing possible. You can learn the shower pattern later on, and I'll teach you how to do that on this channel. So make sure you subscribe, so that way you get you know, access to all these videos. So going back to the practice, you ideally want both balls to go in the air, right? So you see this, I'm doing the same time. You don't want to do that because they're going to collide. And when they collide, they don't hit those spots and drop directly down. They go wherever, you know, the balls end up going. Um, 
like I mentioned at the, at the very beginning, if you're doing like tennis balls and stuff, when they collide, uh, the balls are gonna bounce all over and stuff. And as you drop, uh, these are bean bags. So they're, they're like squishy. So when these hit the floor, they just stop. They don't, you know, roll all over and stuff like tennis balls, racket balls, uh, baseballs, things like that are gonna do. But going back into it, you're gonna do throw, 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 and make sure that you're doing the actual throws every single time. Throw, 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 throw. If you struggle with this, like if you throw one and then you forget to throw the second, uh, it, it sounds really weird, but just say to yourself and say it out loud, like hopefully you're all by yourself and stuff when you're doing this. And if you're with a group of people, you're gonna feel weird saying throw, throw, but it does help significantly because it forces, uh, like you saying it out loud forces your body to actually do it. So throw, throw, and this is gonna be very important later on when you get to the third ball too. So throw, 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 throw throw, throw, and you'll notice that the pattern, the balls hit the same spot as they did when you were doing the one ball, right? Same exact throws, and you'll notice that uh, as soon as I throw the first one, there's nothing in this hand, right? So that's where the third ball is actually gonna come in when you get to that point in the pattern. Okay, so at any point when you're doing this, and you notice that you know, you're know you struggling, you're having a hard time with hitting those exact spots and stuff, it's fine to stop and actually go back to one ball and just throw it back and forth. Uh, ideally, you wanna be super comfortable with this first throw and make sure that it hits the exact spot every single time. And if I could, if I was like really good with video editing and stuff, I would plaster like images right here and I would have you watch the pattern so it goes to the same spot every single time. And the reason for this is because the throw is actually more important than the catch when it comes to juggling because if you don't throw it to the right spot, uh, it's harder to catch. Like if you throw it to one spot and it hits that same spot every single time, it's always going to fall down into that certain location. Um, with catching, like you can of course move your hand and stuff, but if, if the throw is where it's supposed to go, it makes everything else so much easier. So that's why it's so important to practice this. So back to two balls and stuff. I'm going to do a side angle too, just so you can see this. So you'll see here, this is like normal, just throw, throw. And on the side angle, throw, 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 throw. So you see that my arms are pretty close to like a 90 degree angle. And the reason for this is it allows you to like not be reaching out, like having a pattern that's really far out. If you've ever watched someone who is a beginner juggler or someone who's a juggler on like a TV show or a movie, when they juggle, they're, they're gonna have their arms out like this. And it just looks, uh, it doesn't look as smooth, it doesn't look as fluid. And you can see like, if I do this, it's harder, right? It, uh, it looks weird and it's actually harder to do because you're, you're like reaching out instead of, you know, stepping at like a comfortable level. So go back to the two balls, and as you're doing this, you're gonna mess up. You're gonna throw the ball. The ball's gonna go out, uh, it's gonna go like down, it's gonna go that way, it's gonna go that way, it's gonna go that way. And every single time that happens, stop, like take a, like take a breath, and then go back to the basics. Like it's all, it's all about that throw, like I mentioned. It's all about making sure that every single time you hit those spots, and that they're going to the locations that you want them to go to, so it's easier to actually get the whole routine down. So this is this is just like the one ball thing. It's just kind of boring, the repetitive action. But it's the the importance of this is when you're practicing this, you're you're gonna want to make sure you hit those spots every single time. When you do, the pattern comes together really well. What you'll notice is this is really boring. It's long and elaborate and stuff, right? So if you're very comfortable with this. And ideally, I want you to hit 50 throws without like messing up, without like throwing it all over or dropping or any of that. And I know that might sound like a lot, but as you do this and as you practice this, it's gonna get easier. And the 50 throws is just throw, throw. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So that right there is 10 throws. And you'll notice they all went to around the same spot. And it's not gonna be perfect every single time, nothing is, but you'll get comfortable with those levels. So once you get to around 50 throws from this, that's when you get to go into the third ball. So you'll have, 
You'll see here it's two balls in one hand and one ball in the other, just so you're not trying to start with like three in one hand. And the idea is the exact same as two balls. So like with two, throw, throw. And what you'll notice is if you look at this hand, there will be a ball there uh, after I do the first two throws. So throw, throw, you see the ball there? So throw, 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 throw. So the pattern here, exact same as one ball as two balls and now three balls. Uh, the hard part is going to be making sure that you throw that third one. So what you want to do is say throw, 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 just like with two balls. So it's throw, throw, throw. And then you try to catch all of them, right? That's the hard part. That's going to make it difficult. But as long as your throws are in line, they're going to be easier to catch. While you're doing this, the balls are going to go all over and stuff. They're going to go where you don't really want them to be. But it's important to do throw, throw, throw. And you always want to start with the one that has two balls in it. So like after the first set, you're going to have two balls in the opposite hand. Um, this is a difficult thing for a lot of people. You always want to start with the same hand, like just human nature does that. But you always need to remember to start with the one with two balls in it. So throw, throw, throw. You know notice two is in the other side. Throw, throw, throw. Two is in the other side, so throw, throw, throw. And as you do this, uh, balls might get thrown out. Like you might have two good throws and then the third one goes like off screen on this particular example because I don't have like a huge studio to show this to you. But if you notice that you're throwing and walking, uh, <laughs> this is something that a lot of people don't like to hear. But if you have a wall like right here, I don't want to be facing opposite you. But if you go a little bit past here with a wall, uh, you'll learn to, it's, it's not very good, it's a negative reinforcement is what I, I call it. Uh, but if the wall's in front of you and your arms, you know, it's just out past your arm, if you reach out, you're going to punch the wall. And uh, to me, it's like the, the pain tells you to stop doing it, to like bring it back closer to your body. Otherwise, it also allows you to, if it, if it gets thrown out, it hits the wall and can bounce back. So that way you're not like running around the whole house or apartment the whole time when you're trying to learn how to juggle. And the, the idea of like you hitting a wall, it doesn't feel good. So it, it, it'll train your mind to, and train your body to like pull back to make sure that the throws stay in alignment. And you'll notice that they do kind of stay in a, like a set, set pathway. I don't know what that's called, but as you're doing this, so we'll go back to the actual beginning of this. So it's one ball, right? One ball back and forth, back and forth. Two balls, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then the third ball, one, two, three. So one, two, three. As you do this, you're gonna mess up and you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna get down on yourself. You just need to remember that all good things take time, right? Uh, it's, it's just the practice of the, the actual advice, like the, that doesn't make sense. It's it's the uh, the practice of actually doing this, like the taking the time to make sure that the balls go to the right throws every single time, that the spots are hit. As you do this more, you're going to get a little bit more comfortable. And after around 15 minutes of doing this, uh, you're going to have the pattern down. You're going to know exactly how to juggle. You're going to know like what the pattern is. You're going to be able to see it. You're going to be able to do at least three throws with this. Uh, the hard part. Is getting comfortable with this and then continuing on uh, and there's there's a form of like discipline that you need to take when it comes to doing this like once you get to the third throw uh, to go to four it's just the same thing it's throw 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 and I'll show you that so throw 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 and when you do that you get back to two balls in the starting hand one in the other so one two three four one two three four and what might happen is your first throw could be great, second throw could go way out, third throw could be like behind you or something. Stop when you make a mistake. And this is this is hard to do. It's something that's like, it's, it's a form of discipline, like stopping when something isn't right. So that way you can kind of work through it. And what will often happen is like the third throw that you do could be, you know, it could go out here instead of being in alignment and hitting those spots. It could be like over here, over here or something. So notice when you do make those little errors and stop and then start back over. You know, you, you want to get super comfortable with this so that way every throw you make is in those 
those spots, it hits that spot that you're shooting for. And when you do this, you can kind of get in the rhythm and get in the flow and then, you know, juggling it four times or five times or six times is gonna be so much easier for you. And at this stage, it's just a couple minutes a day for the next like week or two, and then you'll be able to juggle. Like you'll have the whole pattern down. You'll be comfortable with doing it. And you'll probably be doing like 15 or 20 throws without having to stop, which that's when it gets like kind of fun because you can challenge yourself. You can say, I want to get to 20 throws, and then you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on to 20. And then you can shoot for like 40, 50, 100, all of that. And as you do this, you'll notice that your throws get a little bit better. They get more consistent, and the pattern starts to form. And the whole time you're doing this, you're like supposed to be. It's, it's supposed to be like a huge stress relief too. Uh, that's why I do recommend these balls because you can like squeeze them if you mess up. Uh, and like throw it on the ground and stuff. I, used, I did that a lot when I was learning uh, the higher numbers, like four balls, five balls, six balls, seven balls. Uh, like when you mess up, it, uh, it, it it's, it's not fun when you mess up. So just keep in mind that like every time you do, it's just a little thing. Like it's a little learning experience where you can get a little bit better every time. So if you have questions about this or you have any like other concerns or anything around it, juggling, comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And I do have a website, jugglingsecrets.com, that has a bunch of other information all about juggling and you know information that's gonna help you become a better juggler, get more comfortable with it and all that. Uh, thank you so much for watching and give it a thumbs up if you got value out of this video. I'll see you in the next one.